Okay, today we're going to look at the uh, application of linear algebra in graph theory. So what is graph theory? Well, we know what a graph is. It's a thing that looks like this, where you have a y-axis and x-axis and some line going through it. Um, but that's not what a graph is in graph theory. Um, so there's actually there's another type of graph, and that is the graph in graph theory. Uh, so what a, a graph in graph theory is made up of points, and we call these vertices, and we also have little connections between them, and we call these edges. Um, and there's also directions. There could be directions. You could have them be direct. You could have directions, and um, we can signify signify these directions with arrows between, um, on the the edges. And we call this whole thing a graph. Now, um, what does a graph do? Well, uh, it could represent it could represent uh, you know connections between people. Uh, this is where the uh, network and social network comes from. Uh, Facebook is actually just a massive graph. It could also represent the the flights between cities. And uh, if you have directions, it could also represent the uh, international trade because uh, goods may get traded one way but won't get traded the uh, the other way. Uh, so now we look at this graph and let's see how um, linear algebra fits into it. So from, take, from this graph, we can write a matrix, this matrix M, I'll call it M, where the, uh, the, the rows, the, or each row is its own um, ver vertex, and then each column is also its own vertex, and you can go um, from one vertex to another vertex by looking at the, uh, the rows and the columns. For example, um, if I wanted to go uh, from, P, if we look at P1 and P3, you can see that there's two arrows between them, which means that uh, you can go uh, bidirectional, which means that if you want to go from P1 to P3, you can do that because we have a one here and you can do that. And that's what else the graph says. And if you want to go from P3 to P1, that's also fine because the graph says you can and the, correspondingly the matrix has a one. Um, now, if you want to go from P4 to P2, you can do that uh, because there's an arrow there and you can go that direction. And the, uh, correspondingly, the, the matrix says so uh, as well with a one. But you cannot go back from P2. You cannot go from P2 to P4 because there is no arrow pointing that direction. That's why we have written a zero there to represent that and there is no connection from uh, P2 to back to P4. Uh, you can also have uh, connect. Uh, you can also have uh, vertices that are connected to themselves, and this is what I've drawn in here for P4. Um, originally, uh, P there is no connection from P4 to P4 because there's a zero here. But now, once we drew this in, uh, you can put a one there because there is now a connection between them. So, what's a real life application of this? Well, let's take a look at a um, an isolated graph that has a complex network within themselves. So, um, it's Cool to study, and uh, I think the uh, inter-island flights of Hawaiian Airlines actually uh, fit this fit this uh, fit this example perfectly. So here we have the matrix M that goes with this graph. Um, for example, you can go from Lahui to Honolulu. You can go from Lahui to Honolulu. That's why we have a one here, and you can also go from Honolulu to Lahui because you know the flight the airplane has to go there and also has to come back. So that's also a one. Um, you can visually confirm that there is no flight from Lanai, direct flight from Lanai to Lahui. Uh, you'd have to go through Honolulu for a connecting flight, and that's why there's no direct flight. It's a zero and a zero. So here we have uh, this. This is the matrix M that we, I just made it prettier. Now it's actually in the matrix uh, brackets. And so now matrix M represents number of one step connect, uh, links from uh, one point to another, which is quite self-explanatory because this is you know, this is what we, we made it out to be. Now what's interesting is that if we take this matrix M and actually square it, well we'll get another matrix obviously, but this matrix, uh, this uh, M squared is actually represents the number of two-step uh, links from one point to, uh, from one vertex to another. And we can extrapolate that to say that matrix M to the N represents the number of N-step connect, uh, N-step links from one point to another. So let's go back to this. Uh, here we have the uh, here we have m, the m squared matrix, and let's here we have back have, uh, have our graph again, and we can uh, see that before there was no direct flight from from Lanai to Lahui, 
but now we see in our graph that there's actually a uh, you can still get there through a connecting flight because this is m squared and we can visually confirm that you have from Lanai to Honolulu and then Honolulu to Lahui. So this is a two-step connection and we know this because this is from the m squared graph. Uh, now let's switch gears a bit and we're going to introduce a new a topic called the click. And a click is a group of people that are um, uh, that are very connected amongst themselves and they communicate amongst themselves. This is just you know English English language English language definition. So we look at this graph here and we want to decide if these are in a click. And what cl a click in graph theory means is that at least there's three there's at least three vertices where there are bidirectional uh, connections going between them. So we make the uh, matrix M for this uh, graph and I'm just going to do something silly here. I'm going to cube it. And when we cube it, we find out that there's actually, uh, we, we look at the diagonals and you see that it's all zeros. And because since it's all zeros, we can conclude that there are no uh, clicks in this graph. Now, now, why does this work? This seems like I just made it up, but we can think about this for a moment using the theorems and the concepts that we just learned. We know that um, the non-zero diagonals of matrix M cubed signify that the point is uh, involved in a click. And we also know that matrix M to the N represents the number of N step paths from a point to another. So if we match these two together, we, we find out that actually the diagonals of M3 represent the number of ways to get back uh, to the same place in three steps. Now, this is very important for the click because um, imagine that you have a group of you know, three very close friends. If you tell some news to one of your friends, then you should expect your other friend to ask you about it, you know, pretty soon. And um, you would expect this because, well, your your two friends also communicate with each other. So here, your message took three steps to get back to you. Um, it took at least three steps to get back to you, and that means that it is in a click, and because these, you know, your three friends can communicate with each other. Um, So now let's do this uh, again for our uh, matrix M of the uh, flight map of um, the Hawaii Inter-Islands flights. So we take that matrix, we cube it, and you get this quite messy matrix, um, but that's okay because we only care about the diagonals. So we uh, go here and we look at the diagonals, or actually first, let's look at this diagonal. So we see that to go from Hilo and back to Hilo in three steps, there are two possible ways to do that because we know we know this because this is M3 and M3 is saying that there's two possible ways to do that. And we can visually confirm that. First, from Hilo to Honolulu, Honolulu to Kahului, and then Kahului back to Hilo. And that's three steps, that's one of them. And then you can also go the reverse direction. That's also three steps. And that's the other one. So that's those are the, your two your two three-step uh, ways to get from Hilo back to Hilo. Now we can look at the rest of the diagonals and we can see that since all of those diagonals are greater than zero, um, all of these airports are involved in a click. And this makes sense because all the airports should be involved in a click because if they aren't, that means there aren't very, uh, you know, not a very connected airport, which means that they're all very isolated, which we know is not true because you can visually confirm that on our map these airports are very uh, very connected with each other. But there's two airports that stand out, um, and that's Honolulu and Kahuilui. And that's because they have these numbers that are very high compared to the rest of the diagonals. And what this means is that there's a lot of um, there's a lot of different ways to go from these airports uh, back to that airport in three steps. And what that means is that that there's a lot of flights going in and out of these airports. And in aviation speak, these airports uh, would be called a hub. And we can confirm that these airports are actually hubs. If we look at Hawaiian Airlines Wikipedia page and look at their hubs, it is in fact Honolulu and Kahuilu Airport that are Hawaiian Airlines main hubs. And here we, you know, we use math to, to confirm that these airports are in fact hubs. And that's the power of uh, one, one uh, cool way to, to show graph theory. So next time you go look for uh, flights to go from a place to a place, just know that what the computer is really doing is it's taking in 
a the matrix M of a graph that looks something like this, super messy, many many uh, points that are connected to each other with many many edges, and it's gonna it's gonna do a bunch of linear algebra and matrix operations to give you a nice neat list for you to choose from, to, for you to get to point A to point B.